A question and concern by a lot of Westerners taking their first steps inside Buddhism is, must I have blind faith in all these Buddhist teachings, beliefs, concepts, rituals, rites that I either don't believe in, my perception is different, or I just can't prove? And this falls into faith inside Buddhism. Faith in Buddhism is actually a crucial component of the Buddhist religion. And I'm going to talk about that today because without faith, you might have difficulty in Buddhism. But faith in Buddhism is probably not what you're actually expecting. So let's start at a very basic level here. When you're ready to become a Buddhist, so you can be learning about Buddhism, even practicing Buddhism, but when you want to become a Buddhist, you are putting faith in three things. This is when we take the Triple Gem Refuge. We're taking faith, putting trust inside the Buddha or a celestial Buddha or Bodhisattvas as the teacher. We're putting our faith, our trust in the Dharma, his teachings, the liberating path, and also the Sangha, his monastic community. This is the triple gem. This is when we become officially, quote unquote, Buddhists. And that's important because as sentient beings and as the Buddha taught, we are clouded to the truth in many different ways. So a lot of times our perceptions, uh, our idea of what reality is and truth is, doesn't align with the Buddhist path because we are on this delusional, as far as our world, our ignorant of the truth, and that's keeping us clouded from the truth, clouded from the path, clouded from awakening, enlightenment, nirvana. So because of that, we take these unskillful, unwholesome karmic actions, which keep us trapped in a cycle of rebirth. And this is really the basis for a lot of Buddhism. We want to escape these unwholesome conditions, these unskillful conditions. We want to have this true natural state of nirvana. And we can't do that when we are clouded to the truth, when we're not practicing Buddhism, when we're not making those steps. So inside Buddhism, you can replace faith, if you will, with the word trust. Do you trust the Buddha as a teacher? Do you believe he's an enlightened being? Do you believe what he taught was true? Do you believe what he's trying to lead us to. And this is a very fundamental one, which is why it's the first of these triple gems. These gems are precious things because they lead us towards awakening and enlightenment and nirvana. So we put our faith in our teacher. If we don't have faith in our teacher, if we don't believe this about the Buddha, where are we with Buddhism? Are we just now like picking certain parts of Buddhism and using it for different purposes? That might be what's happening. So when we're looking at Buddhism as a whole, we're looking at the Buddha and his complete teachings, which takes us to the second part. So if he is an enlightened, awakened being, and we trust him in his teachings, then let's go to the teachings. The teachings, the Dharma, the Buddha Dharma, takes us down that path towards enlightenment, awakening. And of course, when I talk about the Buddha and the Dharma and even the Sangha, we have many different Buddhist traditions, and especially Mahayana Buddhism. We even have Celestial Buddhism, Bodhisattvas that help. We have Mahayana Sutras, etc. So there's many different teachings out there that all help us lead us to that particular path, which is enlightenment. So the Dharma is helping us become enlightened, realize our true natural state of nirvana. And when that happens, that's our goal because now we are no longer creating these karmic actions that keep us trapped in a cycle of rebirth. We're no longer unskillful. We are enlightened beings. And enlightened means, well, you know, we clearly see it's like turning on the light inside a room. Now you see what's really here. You're no longer making these perceptions. You're not making assumptions. You're not doing wrong actions. That's what we want. So this Dharma that he taught is so important, or that Bodhisattvas taught, or Celestial Buddhists taught. This is important because they are all trying to get us to that point. And that also brings us to the Sangha, the monastic community. This is the direct relation, if you will, with the Buddha. The Buddha is no longer physically in our world, right? So you just can't go up to him and ask him questions or sit for a Dharma talk with him. We have the monastic community, and they are the ones that help us lay persons understand these teachings and progress along that path. And of course, we also have Dharma friends and everything else along here. So this faith, this trust in the Triple Gem has to be solid. Now, you might be going, well, I still don't understand karma, rebirth, all these different concepts or 
the realms of rebirth and these different beings and all these different types of concepts, emptiness, all this different stuff. And that's okay. So even with Buddhists in Buddhism dominant countries and cultures and areas, you're going to have different levels of understanding. That's very, very common. We are human beings. So even things, for example, like karma, like I just mentioned, or rebirth, it's not going to say that Buddhists go, yes, I fully understand deeply all these concepts. Or even to some part, they go, yes, I 100% believe in it. They may not fully understand or believe in it, but it's different than what you may be thinking. They have that faith and trust in the Buddha because he was enlightened and he taught that Buddha Dharma. And he has this monastic, do you have this faith and trust in him? Like, I don't understand all this, you know, I, I, but I do have, it's gonna be one element. Typically it's gonna be the Buddha, and then of course it's Buddha Dharma, right, and the monastic community. I got something that I believe in. Maybe it's, I have some direct experience where I was meditating in the temple with some monastics, and I was able to maybe understand a particular concept. You're gonna have some string that you're gonna pull on. There's something that you're going to have with your faith, your trust. So the Buddha did say, just, you know, essentially don't blindly just believe what I'm saying. You should examine these truths. And so when he's talking about his teachings, you know, and examine these teachings, you know, yes, you are supposed to examine them. You're supposed to, you know, see that they are true, but you can't do that for everything. And especially when we're coming right into it with maybe no prior lifelong understanding or practice of Buddhism and go, I don't believe in that because here I read this in maybe school or I understand it this way, so I don't believe in that. And that's where we really put roadblocks up because now we've made definite assumptions that are blocking our progress. And you may go, well, I'm gonna be proven right. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but this is the Buddhist religion and there's a path here and there's a way. And so it doesn't mean that as a non-Buddhist, you can't believe what you wanna believe, but for Buddhists, they are believing in the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, this end goal, this end path, right? And so when we are putting roadblocks up, and that's going to be our beliefs, assumptions, perceptions, that's going to be challenging. So my recommendation is, yes, you can go, you know what, I just don't believe in karma, or I don't believe in rebirth, or realms rebirth, or I'm sorry, or all these different things, or I believe it's maybe this, or I believe it's that interpretation, not how it's taught here. I would say step back go, you know what, there's a lot of things I don't know, and that's okay. It's okay to say to yourself, it's okay that I don't understand this. Maybe it's okay that I have this perception of this, but I'm willing to try to learn and understand a different way. I'm gonna put that to the side, and that's what I recommend. Put your faith or trust in the triple gem, which is what we do as Buddhists, or if you're just learning about Buddhism and you haven't done that yet, whatever faith or trust and whatever experiences or understanding that you have, and go from there. So when we start learning from monastics, from our teachers, we're able to understand more and more about these concepts. But don't look for like, it's just like a semester of school and I should understand this concept. It can take many years, decades, a lifetime, or even more to understand these concepts. But it's this constant progress we do in Buddhism, which is key. We're trying to transform our unwholesome karmic actions through our virtues, like our morality conduct, our our wisdom and our concentration, our determination. We're, we have this threefold training we're doing in Buddhism. So this is a constant effort. And don't go, you know what, I spent five years listening to Dharma talks and this, and I still don't understand this. Be okay with not understanding that fully, but still having trust and faith in the Buddhist path. And examine, was there something that you're doing maybe that's challenging it? Maybe a certain teacher maybe doesn't explain it in a way that it helps you understand it. Maybe there's another teacher that can help you understand or another monastic at your temple. There might be different ways. And I've had that experience as well. Maybe I didn't understand a particular concept one way. And I remember hearing it from another monastic and I go, I got it. Or at least I believe I got it. So I understand a particular way based upon how someone teaches or explains things. And, or maybe it's just sometimes the longer you're in it, something just connects back and forth. So keep with it. You don't have to understand everything right away, but don't be so quick to dismiss it and have firm judgments about things. This is what we're talking about with faith inside Buddhism, that basically you are going in with an open mind instead of a closed mind, because our goal is to make sure that we can become enlightened 
and realize our true natural state of nirvana so we can stop those unwholesome karmic actions. It's key. And so this is my plea to you. Go in there with that open mind. Be okay with not knowing everything or having firm explanations or judgments or being able to prove everything. That's not important with Buddhism as a layperson, even for a monastic. You are going in there with that faith and trust. You're going to be learning, experiencing, practicing. And as you go through this very long schooling, if you will, you are going to understand more and more and more. The more that you keep with it, the more you ask questions and get help and listen to the Dharma talks and practice. As I mentioned, this is all key things to helping you with understanding these concepts. Do you have any questions about faith in Buddhism? I'd like to hear from you. You can leave the comments below on this video, or you can send me a message from my website, alanpito.com. Thank you, and I'll talk with you next time.